Hi guys, today I'm going to explain to you why water heater tanks leak and they don't tend to last very long. So stick around, we'll get the show right started. Welcome everybody to Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. If this is your first time here and you're looking to sharpen all your plumbing skills or just learn stuff, start by dropping down below and hitting the subscribe button. That way you're not going to miss any of my awesome videos. I get a commonly asked question all the time from customers. Hey Tim, what is it with the water heaters? Why don't we ever get more than maybe five, eight years out of them? Aha, uh -huh, the million dollar question. So today I'm going to share a couple secrets with you that the water heater companies don't want you to know about. Before we do that, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to do a walk around on a 40 gallon electric water heater, what you see in most people's homes. I pulled this water heater out of a customer's house last week. This is an A.O. Smith 40 gallon tall electric water heater. This is a very basic and common heater that you see in most people's homes. Generally speaking, it doesn't matter if it's an A.O. Smith water heater or Ream or a State. They all come usually with a factory six year warranty. Now where the heck did they come up with that number? Six years. Quick look at this heater. Uh, if you look carefully here, I'm going to point to you right there. Six year warranty. All right, that doesn't seem like a whole lot of time, especially when water heaters, 40 gallon electric talls these days are going for almost a thousand dollars with the install. Go back to that six year warranty that the companies usually give you on a water heater and how they came up with that number. These engineers have done years and years and years of studying and found out that the general water heater, for the most part, has a lifespan of around six years. After that, all bets are off. Why is that? You heard me mention in other videos, water, metal, corrosion. Hey, after a while, the, the water and the corrosion is going to take over. So these companies aren't stupid. They know that just in a matter of time, that water heater is going to start leaking from the inside out. Now, just like any kind of manufacturer out there, everybody's in business to make money. So they want to make sure that you can get your money's worth, but you're going to be calling and getting another water heater replaced in a matter of time. Now this raises a question in your mind, huh, all that water in metal, how does it even last six years without leaking? See this? Take a good look at it. Yeah, see that? This is what's called an anode rod. This anode rod is installed inside of heaters these days. This particular rod is made out of the metal known as magnesium. Now magnesium is a soft metal. Now days gone by you used to be able to look at the top of a water heater and see this little hex head sitting on top of there and uh, people back in the day and still some of the people that have managed to be smart through the years have managed to find a way to replace that anode rod over the years to prolong the life of the water heater. These anode rods are created to collect impurities from the water inside your tank and help prevent it from corroding from the inside out. What a brilliant plan. That's what engineers are for. So hey, all we gotta do is just replace the anode rod every four or five years and we can let our water heater last as long as we want, right? Wrong. I happen to have a customer south of here. He calls me up every three years and I go out to his house and I replace the anode rod. Why am I able to do that on his water heater? Well, the water heater is about 25 years old, and back in the day when they put the anode rods in these water heaters, they made them accessible from the top of the water heater, where you could put a socket wrench down on there, turning the water off the water heater and the power and get rid of some of the water in the tank. They could carefully take and remove the bad anode rod and install a new one, which will prolong the life of the inside of that heater and prevent it from leaking from the inside out. Like I said, these water heater companies are in business to make money. So, after seeing some sales drop through the years, uh, as of recent, in the past 10 years, what they've ended up doing is they end up installing these anode rods in the heater and they make them so difficult to take out that it's almost not even worth trying. These days, most anode rods are located down underneath one of these caps and underneath there is about an inch thick of expandable foam. Now if you're lucky and you're able to find the top hex head of this anode rod, what you're usually going to probably have to do is I believe it's a 1 and 1 16th inch deep well socket with 12 
bits on that deep well socket and you try to put that thing in there and it's a pain in the butt and chances are you're going to need an impact wrench and you're going to strip the thing out and you're not going to be able to replace it and you're going to be calling me to replace the entire heater. Other models of water heater, the anode rod would be located underneath your cold inlet. So you would have to take and remove the entire tubing and threads and nipples and all that stuff to get the thing out of there to replace it and put a new one in there. Wow, what a big pain in the butt. Who's got time for all that stuff? <laughs> Wait a minute, you're talking about a thousand dollars. Not everybody's just got a thousand dollars laying around so they want the best bang for the buck. However, these days some of the water heater companies are extending the warranty by adding during manufacturing a larger anode rod inside of the heater during manufacturing. Also, some of these uh, water heaters have uh, and come with an electronic device that helps ionize the water and neutralizes the impurities uh, to try to extend the life of that water heater. However, at this point, you're getting into a couple thousand dollars. So there you guys have it. I hope this video has helped you out in one way or another. Hey, I got them all day long. If you get any questions or comments or concerns about this video or something maybe I left out, uh, start by subscribing down below and leave me a comment, a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Um, everybody has water heaters and not everybody's made of money. This maybe will give you a little bit of an idea why your water heater isn't going to last you forever. These water companies, uh, water heater companies, they're not stupid. <clears throat> they know what they're doing. And they've made it these days uh, virtually impossible to take the old anode rod out. So now you're faced with usually have to replace it and call a plumber. So until next time, this has been Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.